my family and I came as immigrants. We barely saw any other Asian Americans in the community at the time. And I faced a, I faced a lot of um, bullying and um, prejudice as I was growing up. So it was a very lonely and isolated journey. It was painful. It was hard growing up. And it made me hate being Asian. It made, made me hate being Chinese. I didn't like what my family um, cooked, what we ate, what we spoke at home, how we dressed, how we looked. I didn't like myself. I went through these stages where at first I, I was so scared. It was just fear, right? And it was like, I, I didn't have any power at all. These people were bigger than me, stronger than me, and and they were together. And then that fear eventually turned to anger and outrage. Eventually, like a lot of walls built up and there was so much that I was hiding inside, not having, not having people who really understood what I was going through made me feel this rage inside and outside. And my parents didn't understand it. The teachers that I had didn't understand it. When it started to um, change was my third year of college. And it was in my first Asian American studies class when I started to understand me. I remember reading, reading these pieces and feeling like I'm not alone. 